Here we are with part five of A Choice to Love. Now, we left off with Lil' Kenny and Denim in the car. And Denim asking Lil' Kenny, are you with me if I get this box and open it? And he said, of course. So they finally get to Lil' Kenny's house. They walk through the door, Kenny and Denim. Lachelle and Big Kenny is in the living room. They turned around and looked towards the door and see them. And Big Kenny stood up and said, that's what I'm talking about. And Lachelle said, oh, she's gorgeous. And then I'm just sitting there blushing, waving. Hey, how's everybody doing? And Lil Kenny feeling like a macho man, so he put his arm around Denim and said, y'all, this my girl. Lachelle replied, I know that's right. Big Kenny says, nice to meet you. Followed by Lachelle saying, I'm glad to see that it's someone to make my son smile as much as you make him smile after all that we've been through. Lil Kenny with his arm around Denim squeezed her shoulder real tight and said, mm-hmm. Big Kenny caught whiff of the energy and he said, so... How y'all mean? Which switched the energy of the room so everybody started engaging in a more civilized conversation. So after about an hour and a half, Lil Kenny says, I'm about to go ahead and take Denim home, y'all. Michelle and Big Kenny said, okay, that's cool. Nice to meet you, Denim. Denim said, the pleasure was mine. It's nice to meet you guys, too. So Lil Kenny and Denim walked out the door and head to the car. Yeah. Inside Big Kenny and Michelle's house, Michelle tells Big Kenny, I might get a job, so I'm so excited because I have an interview on next week. Kenny was like, that's what's up. I'm proud of so you. So they both smiling at each other. And he tells her, we got to celebrate. And Lachelle says, not just yet, Kenny. I don't know if I got it yet. He was like, man, you going to get it. So he gives Lachelle a hug and kisses her on the cheek. Now, Big Kenny is preparing to leave because he's about to go to his part time. So Big Kenny grabbed the things that he need for work. And Lachelle go back to the kitchen and put the food up because they all just ate. So Big Kenny head out the door, get in the car and head to work. So Lachelle is in the kitchen tallying things up, putting the food and stuff away. Her cell phone rang. She looked at the call ID. She see that it's Big Kenny. She picked up the phone. She said, hey. He said, man, I grabbed my work keys, but I ain't grabbed my house keys. He said, I ain't gonna be able to get in the house and y'all might be asleep. So how long you gonna be in the house? Because I might gotta come back and get the keys. She said, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in here, Kenny. I don't know what might happen. But if you decide to come back, just come back and get the keys, Kenny. Just come back and get the keys. He was like, man, how long you gonna be in there? She said, I don't know. Just come back and get the keys, Kenny. He was like, man, all right. Click. Hung up the phone. Now, Lil Kenny and Denim just pulled up the Denim house. Denim is looking around to make sure her mother car ain't outside. And then she look at Lil Kenny and say, you ready? Lil Kenny look back at Denim and say, nah, baby, are you ready? I'm good. Denim replied, I'm nervous as shit, Kenny. Lil Kenny said, you want me to go get it? She said, no, no, I'ma go, I'ma go. So off she goes. She take her seatbelt off. She open the door. She get out the car. She shut the door behind her. She walk around from the passenger side to the driver's side. She walking, 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 look back. Kenny rolled the window down. He said, go ahead, you good. I'ma be right here. She said, okay, and she keep on walking through the apartment yard up into the building door. She get in her purse, she get the keys, and she put it in the building door. She unlocked the building door. She opened the building door. She walked through the building, looked back, make sure the door shut behind her. I don't know what's that about, but she just making sure everything is closed behind her. Then she walk up to the stairs, to the second floor where they live, apartment 202. She grabs her keys again, and she put it to the apartment door. She unlocked the apartment door. She opened the apartment door. She walked through the apartment door. She took four steps. Now she's in the living room of the apartment. She shut the door and she locked the door behind her. She kept her keys in her hand, but she took that purse off her shoulder and put it on the living room couch. She walked towards the stairs to go upstairs to her mother's room. As she's walking up the stairs, her heart is beating faster and faster and faster. The palms of her hands are sweating. Her eyes is beginning to get more watery. She's scared. She's nervous. But she feel like this is something that she have to do. So she walked towards her mother's room. She opened the door. She looked. The room is spotless, clean. So it's not hard to find what she's looking for, the medicine box. So she walk around her mom's room. The first thing she do is get on her knees and look under the bed. It's not there. She get up. She walk to the bathroom that's attached to her mother's room. She open the door. She look on the bathroom sink. She don't see it. She look in the cabinets that's underneath the sink. She don't see it. So she walks out of the bathroom and go to the closet. She opened the closet door. Everything is neat, lined up. She looked on the shelf. She sees shoe boxes, shoe boxes, and there is the box. With her keys in her hand, she reached up to the shelf and she grabbed the box. She got the box. She's debating, should I open it right here or should I wait till I get in the car? Would it be easy to open it right here and then put it back? Or would it be easy to go to the car and open it? 
So with her being scared and nervous and thinking somebody's behind her and someone is coming and she don't want to get caught because she don't know what her mother might do to her, she ran out the closet, through the bathroom, through the room, through the bedroom, through the bedroom door, down the stairs, through the living room, out the apartment door, down the apartment building stairs, out the apartment building door, through the apartment building yard, and out the fence, into the car, and now she's in the car, breathing hard with the medicine box in her hand. Lil Kenny with his hand on the stern wheel, the car's now on, his foot is on the brake, the car's in drive, and he's looking at her, open it. She opened the box slow, Little Kenny leaned over, they both looked in, finally it's revealed. Denim look up, Lord Kenny look at her, Lord Kenny look back down, Lord Kenny say what the f Fuck. Now over at the shell house, there's a knock at the door. She got an attitude walking to the door, stomping real hard because she knows Big Kenny because he done did some irresponsible shit by leaving his keys. She opened the door without asking who it is and then she's been pushed to the floor. 